Hello, welcome back to Madden Games. And today I'm talking about my 30th game. I've finished my 50 game challenge, and that is Skater XL on the Xbox One. So, yeah, this is my 30th game I've finished in my 50 game challenge. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'll link it in the description down below and in the eye icon above to explain what that is. Basically, I need to finish 50 games in 50 weeks, which is basically a year. So, 50 games in one year. So, a game a week, basically. So yeah, this week is Skater XL on the Xbox One. Uh, I've had this for quite a while now, and I've been playing it since I've got it basically on a weekly or monthly basis. I always go on Skater XL and give it give it a bash. Um, as you can tell by, I've got a few videos on my channel. I think I've got ten videos now. Um, skating different parks, doing different challenges. I really love this game. It's a great skateboarding simulator game. So not as many hawks and. I guess it's more like skate, uh, skate. It's more like skate. I forgot the name. It's guess it's more like skate. So you use analog sticks to do tricks. Um, so it turns a lot like pro skater uh, Tony Hawk's. Instead of pressing X and square to do ollies and kickflips stuff like that, you actually use the uh, analog sticks, kind of like skate, but more complex. So with skate, you use one stick to do tricks, and that's it. With this, both sticks at each foot. So your left stick is your um, front foot and your right stick is your back foot basically and so Ollie you have to like flick down on the right stick as you have to do but to kick flip flick down the right stick and then flick left with the left stick to pop your front foot up and kick with your left foot to do the kick flip so it's very technical like that um, to do a 360 foot you slide the right stick to the left like in the swerve motion and again kick to the right kick to the left side with the left stick and yeah, you do a frizzy flip, and it's all stuff like that. You do grabs with the triggers to turn, but you have to do triggers, you have to lean instead of using an analog stick to turn, which you can do with both feet on the board. If you want to set up a trick, you can't use the left stick, so you use the analog, um, the triggers to turn. Grinds, you just literally land on the rail, but depending on how your board's positioned, depending on what grind you do, so it's, it's really cool stuff like that. Like, it's very technical, and if you do a really cool trick, it looks awesome because you know how much effort you have to put into that. So combos as well are really hard to do, like grind to a manual, like it's very technical, quite hard to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's really cool. And another thing is where you can catch the bird, bird, you can catch the board on certain feet, which makes it look really stylish. The courses are great. The only thing is there's no real story mode or multiplayer. So it's just literally a sandbox skateboarding game where you just literally go into a map, you can move the mark around, place where you want to go, and skate that one obstacle. That's about it. It's basically, it's more like a real life skateboarding game where you literally, that's a cool spot, I'll do a few tricks on that. Well, that's that sort of thing. Um, I wish it was a story mode. I know multiplayer wise, there is a multiplayer game, multiplayer game. There's a multiplayer mode coming out very soon. I think it's in beta on PC. Um, and then eventually it'll be launched on Xbox and PS4. Um, so yeah, when that comes out, it'll be very cool to have like skate sessions with your friends. Um, I know my friend Kieran, who has a skateboarding channel, he plays this game quite a lot on Xbox, and it'd be cool to give him a game of skate online on Xbox because um, he'll beat me in real life, and I can beat him on this properly. So if you're watching this, Kieran, I challenge you when the multiplayer comes out to play you at it and hopefully win. So yeah, there's not much else to say. You can customize your character slightly. Um, on the Xbox Store as well, they've released mods, which I think there's more mods on PS4 than on Xbox, but there is mods on Xbox. We have a few more courses, a few different boards, a few different clothes. So that's really cool. Hopefully, I keep adding to that as well. But if you like skateboard and simulator games, definitely check this out. Um, I think it's around twenty to thirty pounds a game. Not too expensive. Um, there's not a lot of content in there, but I put hours into this game, like so much, hours, so many hours into this game. It's definitely worth a pick up if you like it. Um, yeah, there's not much I'll say really, there's not much to the game, I like it, it's a great skateboard and simulator game. So yeah, that's my review of Skater XL on the Xbox One. If you love it, please give a thumbs up, if you channel, watch, subscribe. Bye!